Hey guys, I'm gonna be packing today for almost two weeks in one carry-on bag for three people. It's gonna be interesting. <laughs> I'm not exactly sure how I'm gonna do it yet, but it was way cheaper. I mean, way cheaper to just do one carry-on bag. So, uh, <laughs> I uh, will see if this even is gonna work. I'm looking at my suitcase, I'm like, uh, yeah, we'll see. So I have an idea of how I think I'm gonna make it work. We'll see if it actually works. All right, packing for the kids is done. So I wanna share with you guys exactly what I did to maximize space and just being efficient with packing. So this section right here is Drake's and then this section over here is Deacon's. And what I did for each of the kids is I packed them five pairs of shorts and shirts to go with each of the shorts. So each shirt or each pair of shorts has a designated shirt. And then in the event that say they get one pair of shorts really dirty and they need to wear a different pair, I have some shirts that can alternate between different pairs. Sounds crazy, right? But you have to be you have to be prepared and that way you're good to go. So each of the kids have two, four, six, they should have eight shirts, yep, and five pairs of shorts. Deacon is just the same over here. He doesn't really have as many incidents as Drake does, but yeah, we do, we do have an alternate just in case. So that's Deacon over here. And then they've got their swim trunks, their socks, and their underwear. They've got their outfit for the wedding. And they have a backup pair of shorts because in Oklahoma, it's supposed to be pretty cold when we're there. Or a backup pair of pants. So they have the pants they're wearing for the wedding. And then they have an extra pair of pants. Just, you know, say it's cold one of the days. And black pants can go with pretty much anything. I'm not that particular. I mean, really. I mean, the seam's really particular. But I'm really not that particular. It's just making sure we have things that go together. So uh, their closets are basically cleaned out now, but <laughs> uh, we should be good. So this is all the kids stuff. They'll each have a sweatshirt as well. And the sweatshirt will be in their carry on. So they are responsible for carrying their own sweatshirt and their own goggles. So this is uh, everything though for our bag. The clothes are in now on their side of the suitcase. My side will be uh, over here will be the, our uh, toiletries bag and then my clothes. So their side is almost done. I'm gonna put in their underwear and their socks and half of it will be set. All right, all their stuff's in there. So now I'm gonna seal it up with the little flap thing. Deacon's underwear and socks are on this side. Drake's are on this side and we're good. Eventually about halfway through, we'll be able to put dirty clothes on one side and clean on the other. But where it stands now, this is what we're looking at. Two kids, eight days, done. Now for my side. Right. For some reason, it's so much more difficult to pack myself than pack the kids, but I think I'm done. Clearly, I have a theme, and there's a reason for that. Uh, it makes it a lot easier if you kind of stay in the same colors to be able to match shoes and whatnot. So I based all of my outfits off of my shoes, and I got these shoes a while ago. They're pretty old now, actually. Uh, I just take really good care of them because I love them so much. So I will be wearing these shoes on the flight tonight, and I have a sweatshirt along with leggings and a shirt. So I'll wear that on the flight tonight. Now for what I'm gonna wear, well, I'm there the whole time. I've got a gray pair of jeans and I've got a blue pair of jeans. And these are the ones that have that funny <laughs> um, crotch region from ThreadUp, but actually both are from ThreadUp. So uh, they, it's gotten better with washing. And then I have two pairs of shorts just in case because you know Texas and Vegas and stuff like that can be hot. So I found shirts that can go with the shorts and the jeans. So basically I just have t-shirts. Like this is an actual, actual t-shirt. And then here just another t-shirt, t-shirt, uh, classic tee, shirt, 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 shirt. And then um, two pairs of shorts and two pairs of pants. So I'll have my leggings, two pairs of pants, two shorts. Then those are all t-shirts. Now for long sleeve shirts, I have this long sleeve shirt and I have this one here, just in case I get a little colder than the kids typically. And then this is what I'm gonna be wearing to the wedding. I've got boots and then a sweater and uh, leggings that are not, they're like a little nicer leggings. So um, as far as how they look, they're not as comfortable, but you know, flip flops just because, you know, something to, if, if I don't want to wear my tennis shoes, I can wear my flip-flops. And I will offer that to the kids as well. If they want to pack an extra pair of shoes, they're just responsible for carrying them. Down here, I've got a pair of lounge pants and a kind of just like an over hoodie sweater. And then I've got my socks, my bathing suit, and then right next to my leg, I have my underwear. Finally, I'm going to be wearing my curling iron because we are going to a wedding. And then finally, the toiletries bag. So I'm going to see if I can get all this to fit in my side of the suitcase. And I'll be done packing, which will be so nice because I've been dreading this so much. It looks like it's never going to close. And I might have to use the extender, but that's okay. Um, 
Let's see if it shuts, <laughs> shall we? Oh, what? <laughs> fly in these pants and pack the leggings since they're so much smaller. But everything's in. I am probably gonna have to use the extender. In fact, I put like my some of my nicer clothes on the other side just because the boots are killing me. That's what's taking up so much space are the darn boots. But I can't wear, I'm not gonna wear flip flops or tennis shoes to the wedding. So, um, you know, what can Wait, you do? Are we going to the wedding first? No. Nope. And right. the fact my suitcase has seen better days and is like missing pieces at this point. But it's all in there and it zips shut. Didn't have to use the extender after all. I could easily use it. I mean, it is packed tight, but I didn't have to. So everything's in there. Two weeks, three people, one carry-on bag. Take that Frontier Airlines and your expensive baggage. <laughs> so anyways, whew, packing's done.